Uh, Home Secretary brushes off Lineker Storm as she flies to Africa to seal deportation deal. Suella, I'll send boat migrants to Rwanda by summer. So she's been to Africa. Yeah. Uh, she's gone to have a look at the facilities. Apparently mm. she, she wanted to get some home decoration tips from them. She was so impressed with, with where these people are going to be staying. Um, uh, the, one of the concerns, though, is still that even if this all goes ahead, there might not be enough places. Well, there won't be enough places. Oh. So, enough uh, places in Rwanda or enough places on the flight? Enough places in Rwanda. I mean, it would have, they'd probably have to open a new terminal just to keep up with the, uh, the output as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think, I think that's exactly right. It's, um, it's got to be... I mean, it's, it's a sort of symbolic gesture, isn't it? They're, they're not literally hoping that this will be an ongoing uh, sort of pipeline Calais to, to Folkestone to Rwanda. That, the, the point is to be a, a, a operate as a deterrent, I would imagine. Is it a deterrent? It's Rwanda. It sounds amazing. Yeah. I mean, I mean obviously, they've had some problems in the past. And, uh, you know, maybe this is maybe this will help the Rwanda. They'll instead of focusing the, the, the Hutus on the Tutsis. Well, they'll focus, been, on, yeah, they'll I think focus, Rwanda are keen. They want uh, the immigration. Absolutely. They do. They're, they're, they're trying to reposition themselves as a tourist offer, aren't they? Or as a possibly retirement. And like a tech sort of industry. And, yeah. A bit like Florida, the, uh, the retirement villages, lots of tennis. Yeah. And uh, I, I, think the, I, God, I think the climate looks pretty nice, to be honest. That's in Africa, of course. It's really nice. Yeah. Well, not all of Africa is is habitable, but Rwanda looks pretty good. Also, yeah. you get to yeah. uh, cavort with mountain gorillas. I think it's a win-win. I think I might pop over to Calais and then paddle back, and uh, get myself a free flight. <laughs> yeah. Well, and not, you know, they might have a problem with the passport office. Yeah, that's true. What have we got with the Observer? Well, this, this is the Observer, and which which is the Guardian, and they're the same same thing. Johnson yeah. makes last ditch bit to. Uh, discredit probe into Partygate, and uh, the truth is, is that I think what I, this is, uh, this was like last year, two years ago. No one's interested in Partygate anymore. Partygate came to a sort of shuddering halt roughly around the time that Russia invaded Ukraine, didn't it? That was the yeah. handover that everyone kind of accepted and has happened in terms of headline grabbing. And, um, I mean, it seems pretty unlikely that Johnson has got any way back in, don't you think, to number 10? Shouldn there was a time, of course, yeah. where there was a lot of turbulence a little while ago. Trust came in, had one of the shortest premierships in history. Uh, Sunak came in and not everyone was convinced. But he seems actually now to be pretty well bedded in. I, would I, say. Think, I think the problem is, is, that they, is that the British press think that, they, that Boris Johnson is a viewer reader, a yeah. viewer getter. Yeah. It's in the same way... For sure, that, this is going to be televised. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? In the it? same but... way that Donald Trump got all got so much attention, which is why they pick on Donald Trump, because they know it increases CNN viewership. And uh, I think... But I think Boris... Sure. Johnson's... Well, we're coming up to the Trump story, which is very interesting, and I agree with you. I think they do yeah. desperately need him back in the frame so that they can uh, get people's blood angered up. But Johnson, just that just seems to me... I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't ring... It doesn't kind of get the old heart hammering again, does it? Do you, does you think, Professor? No, I'm more interested in the Hancock stuff now. I think we've yeah. got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> uh, 